How you doing? I'm just swinging. Now, swinging is one of the great ways of getting from one place to another place. Monkeys in the jungle swing all the time. Did you ever stop and think of how many great different ways there are to get from one place to another place? Oh, there must be uh, over a thousand. Hey, kids, come here for a second. Yeah. I'm just thinking about all the different great ways there are to get from one place to another place. Yeah. Now, I want to ask you a question right now. What is your favorite way to travel? Uh, a tie. A tie? Yeah. What's your favorite way to travel? A camel. A camel? That's a very smart choice, right? What's your favorite way, Dan? A horse. A horse. Well, that's a good, sensible way, too. I would like to tell you about some of my favorite ways. How do you get from here to there? What do you do? Well, if you want to cross the street, my friend, here's my advice to you. Simply use your feet and walk, but be sure you walk with care. And that is how you get from here to there. You use your feet. How do you get from here to there? What do you do? Well, if you want to ride to town, my friend, here's my advice to you. Simply hop aboard a bus, pay the driver, man, his fare. And that is how you get from here to there. You use a bus. Here's my advice to you. Simply jump aboard a plane and go flying through the air. And that is how you get from here to there. You use a plane. You use a plane. Or use your feet. Or ride a bus. And that is how you get from here to there. You have a pair of wizard ice skates? Are they beginner skates? Yeah. Oh. Hey, look. Hey, yeah. It's Alphabet yeah. Bates. There he is. He's over there, Ian. Oh, yeah. I wonder what letter he has for us today. It might be a B. It's a straight line. It's got to be one of the straight line letters. A B Maybe is a straight S. line letter. N? No. Maybe an L? Could be an L. Oh, no. He's starting on the other side. So now H it's got to be. It could be an H. And yeah, it might be. Even an M. Could be an M. Let's see now what he does next. Feet. Now, it depends on what he does next. Here he comes now. It could it's be an M. N. Oh, it, that's an N. Hey, that's an N. Yeah. Bye, Alphabet. Bye. An N, huh? Yeah. Who, who knows how to make a good N sound? Hey, David, make a good sound of the N. Mmm, everybody make the N sound. Mm. Hi kids, how you doing? Hi. Hey, those are interesting. What are, what do you call those things? This is That's a what? This is my garage. A garage, huh? You know, I think some places they got little houses. Whole house goes inside something like that. And they just put it here. Then you have a whole bunch of houses. But here's what I want to do, okay? Just yeah. for fun. Let's pretend this is a street. See this line here? Yeah. Let's take all the blocks away. Now, we're okay. going to pretend this is a street. Now, what we want to do is we want to build all the buildings that we find on a city block. You know what I mean? A city? A city street. You know, what's some of the buildings you, you, you have on a city street? Apartment building. Apartment, apartment building. Apartment building. Let's one, say okay? it's in Manhattan. Yeah, like in this. Manhattan. Like this? What would yeah, that be in the house? The Empire State. That would be the Empire yeah, State building. That's pretty good. But we want to make little buildings. We want to make all the different kinds of buildings. Before we can have the cars going down the street. Now, David, before we can have the cars going down the street, we have to have the buildings on either side of the street, okay? Okay. Let's okay. Now, you're going to build one? You're going to build a... Uh... An earthquake. I can't build one. All right, David, how about, how about making me a building? What's a, a nice building on a, on a city street? Come on, you make one too. Okay. 
Now, what are we going to call that? Um, a no, no, it can't be anything. It's got to be a, a, a certain building. Which one is it? Um, here it is. Building. Okay, is that a building over there? Yeah. What building are we going to call that? Kind of house. This is the regular, this, this apartment. That's an apartment building. Okay. And here's the this garage. Is That's where the garage where the people live. But how about this the stores apartment. and stuff like that? Yeah. There's a store. This is a store. This is a store. Yeah. This is a store. What kind of store is this? What kind of store is that one? Department. That's a department store, huh? And what kind of store is this? This is a smaller store. And this is a garage. That's a garage for that store. A car or a garage. Okay, let's put this one over here. Here's my store. Which store is it? What's it called? Uh, it's called the best clothes in town. The best clothes in town store. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, we've got a, a few stores to start with. Now we got stores. Let's start sending the cars down the street, okay? Then finish. Okay, one at a time. I bet you kids have been in uh, bigger cars than these, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see how one of these cars got made? No. Yeah. Oh, well, they I make them in a big factory somewhere. Who knows what the word future means? What? What's it mean, Kim? <laughs> when you didn't do something. When you didn't do something? Um, when you didn't. Well. <laughs> when something hasn't happened yet, yeah. right? What do you want to be when you grow up? That would be your future. I don't know. You don't know yet? Well, that's reasonable. Most people don't really know what they want to be, but you might have an idea. What about you, Brian? You have any idea what you'd like to be? Yes, an oceanographer. Oh my goodness, an oceanographer. What's an oceanographer do? Um, he um, finds things and looks at them that um, were near the water or under the water. See, so he has an idea of what he wants to do in his future. You know, there might be a whole future living in the water. We might live under the water. We might live on the moon. You know, someday, you don't know what might happen. Someday, little children, someday soon. There's gonna be a lot of people, yeah. And they'll be living on the moon. Yeah, people living on the moon someday. Are you wondering who? Well, I'll tell you, little children, you know what, Kim? It might be you someday, little children, living on the moon someday, little children. Yeah, it might be you, little children. Come someday, 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 someday. Hey, Ian, come up here. You know what? Someday, and it won't be long. You know what? People may not get sick no more be always healthy always strong yeah people won't get sick no more you know it sounds amazing but it's true you know who's gonna see it happen well it might be you someday my little children won't get sick at all someday little children it might be you Tell time you're gonna get a watch. Hello, Susan. Hi, 
Hi, Tom. Hello, kids. Hi. Hi. Hey, I don't know if you knew this or not. Hi. Hi, Ian. How you doing? Hi. I don't... Hi, Mauricio. How you doing? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if you kids knew about this, but I happen to be one of the world's great dolphin jump counters. What? Uh, You're a what? A dolphin jump counter. Wait, wait. You know what a dolphin is, right? Yeah, we yeah, know yeah. what You know what jumping is, right? Yeah, we know what jumping You know what counting is, right? No. Well, I'm a dolphin jump counter. A dolphin jump counter? Well, sure. You see, I travel all over the country looking for dolphins. Most of the dolphins live in the southern part of the country. And when I find the dolphins, I wait on the side of the river there, or wherever they're swimming. I wait for them to jump and out, and I count, count them. them. Sure. Let's see you count some dolphins. You want to see me count some dolphins right here on Sesame Street? Yeah, let's see if he really well, you knows. You know, there what aren't very doing. many dolphins living on Sesame Street. No, that's why I want to see you count some. Me too. My goodness, there are some dolphins. I thought we could find out. <gasps> there's three dolphins jumping once, right? Oh, now they're underwater, they're getting together, and I think they're going to come up again. Let's see. Hey, there's the two, three dolphins three jumping dolphins twice. Jump two. Three and five. Six. Yeah. Three. three dolphins jump three, three times. times. They're getting together. You see, they got to get very strong to make this jump. And here they Three come. Three dolphins jump four times. All right. I've counted over a hundred one time. Three dolphins jump five times. Now they fly through the air like that. They're really incredible. Three dolphins jump six, six times. times. Seven, Seven times. times. That one on the left is my favorite. I think they'll come again if we... Nine times! I hope they can make this last one. Ten times! You see? Oh, my goodness, Tom. He's a dolphin jump counter. Do you do that for your... your... No, I just usually do... Is during... that a hobby, or is that... I do it during the summers. Oh, just during the no, summer. No, it's not the kind of thing you could do all year round. Oh, is that just your summer job? Yeah, you might say that's my summer job, but to tell you the truth... There's not much of a market for dolphin jump counters. I guess not. Hey, I wonder where Big Bird is these days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Must be out for a walk. Look, I have got a game to play. Yeah. But you big kids, I think you know the, you know how to make the game work, so I'm yeah. going to ask David. OK, David, you ready for this? Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you five different words, right? Right. Now, I want you to tell me, and I want David to tell, because I know you know. I want you to tell me what all these words have that's the same in each one, okay? Right. Now listen to me. Key, king, kitten, kitchen, and last but not least, kite. Now what is there about all those words that's the same, David? I know. No, you know, but I don't want you to tell. You tell me. Two, two of them don't sound like yeah, but what are they? But some of them sound alike. Don't they all uh, sound somewhat alike? Mm -hmm. Now, well, what's what, what's what's the thing about them all that's the same? Huh? Tell? How about they all sound a little bit alike except some of them? Well, I don't know. You're gonna have to think about it. You know, huh? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. What is it? They all have K. Oh, Mauricio, you're really a dynamo. Okay, David. I want to ask you the next question. Though. I want you to tell me a word that begins with a K. Okay? Kim. Kim? Yeah, but that's not a word. That's a person. That's a name. That's a name. Right. That's different than a word. I'm thinking of something that begins with a K. Now, I want everyone to listen. And I'm going to tell you about what this is, and I want you to tell me what I'm thinking of, okay? This is an animal, and it lives in Australia, and it's got a long tail, and it hops up and down, and I it know keeps its baby in its mouth. Kangaroo! 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 Okay, kangaroo is one of your basic words that begins with a K. On top of. On top of. On top of. On top of. Farley. Are you busy right now? No, not at all, Susan. Would you do me a big favor? Oh, sure, anything at all. Just ask. Well, you see these plates? I borrowed them for a party for Mrs. Gonzalez, and I wondered if you would be nice enough to take them back to her. Oh, sure. Right away, faster than anything. I'll take those three plates right back to Mrs. Gonzalez. Do you know where she lives? Oh, yeah, on the corner down Yeah, that building. building on the corner, yeah. right. Hey, Farley, hmm? you know, you could really save me some more time if you took this vase 
to Mrs. Carter. You know Cleo's mother? They live in that same building. She lives in the apartment right there by the elevator, the right side of the elevator. On the first floor. On the first floor by sure. the elevator. Oh, yeah. sure. I, I had no trouble at all, Susan. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Okay. Listen, I'm going to wrap them in paper because uh, they're glass, and I don't want you to have to worry about breaking them, okay? Okay. Oh, listen, I better go get my shoes on. You don't have your shoes on? No, I left them yes, upstairs. Yes, by all means, go get your shoes on. Under. Okay, Susan, I'm ready to go. I've got what? my shoes. That was fast, Farley. Okay, now they're all wrapped and all ready to go. Okay. Uh, what, what's the matter, mm, Farley? Uh, well, you see, I don't know which are the plates and which is the vase. You don't? No, you see, before they were unwrapped, and I could see which were the plates and which was the vase, but now they got newspaper all over them, and so yeah, how can I tell which is which? Well, Farley, wait a minute now. The hint is shapes. Think about the shapes. Remember how the plates were shaped. And think about the shape of the vase. Hmm, let me see. Well, Remember? the plates were round and they were flat, but the vase wasn't flat at all. It was much taller than the plates. Right, so look at the packages now. Uh, oh, hey, yeah, Susan, look. These three are sort of round and very flat. Mm-hmm. Hey, I so what see. Are those? These are the plates. The plates, right. Yeah, but, the, but this one isn't flat at all. This one is tall, so it must be the vase. That's right. Now you got yeah, it all Yeah, because it's different from these others. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, thanks. Now You're I can set? deliver these things right away. Okay. Yeah, and all I have to do is deliver these one, two, three plates to, right. to, to Mrs. Carter and this one vase to Mrs. Gonzalez. Uh, no, and no, 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 Farley. The plates go to Mrs. Gonzalez and the vase goes to Mrs. Carter. Oh, well, they both live in the same building anyway. You, you know where the building is anyway, don't you? Next to the candy store. Okay, okay. Done. Plates to Miss Carter and vase to Miss Gonzalez. You're a big help, Farley. Everybody tells me that. Goodbye. Sesame Street has been brought to you today by the letters K and N and by the number 2. Sesame Street is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. This is PBS, the public broadcasting service.